What do Wild Turkey, Buffalo Trace, and Jim Beam all have in common? The answer coming up in this Friday's Hot Take. Giddy up. When I wrote this book, Bourbon Curious, the, it came out in 2015. Distillers were just beginning to disclose information about their whiskeys. One of my favorite pieces of my career is that I was the first place where uh, Heaven Hill actually disclosed and confirmed their mash bills. And I have never understood why any distiller would ever keep that information from the consumer. All it is is the grain bill. All it is is the percentage of grain, corn, rye, wheat, barley, in some cases oats or tritikel or rice. It is just telling you what the percentages are. And the distilleries that do not disclose their mash bills, they say, well, it doesn't matter. It's not like you can make our recipe anyway, which to my point is like, great point. So if it doesn't matter, why don't you let us know why you won't disclose it. Now, I wrote about this a long time ago, and I put it in the description as to why I think that people don't disclose it. And here's the truth of the matter. It does not matter. It does not matter what the mash bill is because the cooking temperatures, the fermentation time, the yeast, uh, how long they distill, how much they distill, what their column still is like, or their pot still is like, the aging methods that they use, all of those things matter far more than the grain recipe. But for us as consumers, it's fun to talk about. It's fun to talk about and see if we can pick apart the differences between the styles. And I just don't get why we would want to hide anything in this day and age. Why? Why do you want to hide the mash bill? I'm looking at you, Wild Turkey. I love your whiskey, but I want to—I want you to come out and disclose your mash bill. I'm looking at you, Jim Beam. You know I love me some Knob Creek, but hey, how about it? What's that mash bill? Looking at you, Buffalo Trace. For God's sake, you all don't need any reason to put out another press release. You guys win so many awards. But I tell you what, if you published all your mash bills, I think that press release would get a lot of pickup. Also... For the newer distillers, the smaller ones like you, Kentucky Peerless, just disclose the mash bill. It's best for all of us. And it's a step that we need toward transparency in whiskey. For far too long, distillers have hid information or kept information in their secret little lockup area in their, in their facilities. If you ain't got nothing to hide, just tell us. We'd like to know what the mash bill is. Also, bring back age statements while you're at it. But that's going to do it for this week's Hot Take. Hey, if you want to check this book out, I went ahead and disclosed everybody's mash bill for them. So I've got either sources inside the distilleries or people um, who used to work there that would confirm the mash bills for me. So you can pick this up at any bookstore. I'd really appreciate it if you supported your local bookstore. Look for this book, Bourbon Curious. But that's going to do it for this week's Hot Take. If you want to check out other hot takes, go ahead and click that subscribe button because we got one coming every Friday. Also, celebrity interviews and tastings. And always, the Hot Take Friday comes with the cool hat. This one is from Woodenville, who happens to be a distiller in Washington that I am in love with. I love what they're doing at Woodenville. And I cannot wait to see what the future holds for them. If you have a cool whiskey hat, feel free to hit me up on fredminnick.com and tell me about it. I might just wear it. But that's going to do it. Remember, be safe out there. No licking handrails, no licking trash cans, and vodka sucks unless it's being used for hand sanitizer. Cheers. Cheers.